guys welcome to today's video today i really just wanted to sit down and do kind of a life update chatty get ready with me not that i'm getting ready for anything um but i've got a few iconic london goodies that i have just had in a little basket down here for like <laughs> three months um i've got this in like a advent calendar like a beauty advent calendar sorry words are slow today and then i had like a few other iconic london goodies i've never used them i've never used iconic london so i thought instead of just doing a full dedicated video to iconic london this isn't sponsored by the way this is all like purchased by myself whatever you know um but i really just wanted to try them all together and i didn't think it warranted like a whole full video and if it did then my mistake because well that's that's not what is happening right now i wanted to do a life update i don't even know if this camera is like on i haven't filmed in three weeks so i don't know what the lighting's looking like i am all over the place i need to put my hair back i feel like a bit like a troll doll i yeah i haven't filmed in three weeks i'm just gonna start talking and getting ready getting ready and we're just gonna roll with it okay i haven't filmed in three weeks i want to just like say that for the fourth time just to really <laughs> To let you know that life at the moment has just been like space mountain the roller coaster is, is that like at disney is that one of my favorite rides but it's like the worst <laughs> it's like the oldest the most rickety and you 100 feel like you're gonna die every single time it's just life has just been quite tough this past couple of months january felt like I'm ready to go, I'm ready to tackle 2021, I was so focused, I had everything, like my agendas, I was prepared, I was ready. And then like February hit, and it's just been like crashing and burning, until I'd say probably, I mean, where are we? Hello, time? Okay, well we're at the end of March. <laughs> it's like probably only just started getting better, third week of March, like for the past seven weeks i've just been feeling like get into the fetal position and cry it out until it all stops put some earrings in i haven't worn earrings in ages and i feel cute with the little dangly earrings in so we're gonna do it so i won't go into too much detail about some things but then other things i really just want to talk about and talk to you about why i haven't been uploading perhaps consistently um or i'm uploading a bit weird content or you're seeing like the same makeup looks in like seven videos back to back to back so at the beginning of march um a lot of things happened i had family that were very ill had a family member pass away which wasn't very nice obviously um and then my manager unfortunately oh, god bless him passed away too very unexpectedly as in spoke to him a couple of hours prior and then he wasn't around anymore. It was really tough because it came to such a shock, it came as such a shock and we were all really surprised and it was just like, not even overnight, it wasn't like, it was just within the same day, within the same working day and it was, I found out literally two hours after, it was just, it was awful and it still really upsets me now because he was just such a great, <laughs> great person and really, really kind yeah i'm not gonna go into it because it's not for me to go into it's not like it's my family member but I really do miss him still even a month well nearly two on um because he was such a lovely guy anyway so that just knocked me off my trail um for a couple of weeks and that's why predominantly a lot of the content that you've been seeing for the past couple of like weeks has been a little bit like okay this is a bit weird and it's a bit late like my juvius um like playing with the makeup from juvius i actually did film that literally like two days after i did that haul and like that that was a pre-recorded video that i was just hanging on to and i hadn't edited yet and uh yeah so i haven't filmed in a long time and to try and pretend to be happy on camera just is not a thing for me like i can't i can really vi like i vibe myself when i'm watching back like footage and editing i just can't or i struggle to publish content of me like like i just don't enjoy it i don't enjoy putting that sort of content out to the world because who wants to show them having a crap day like <laughs> no one does all the makeup that i use by the way will be down in the description bar so if you're curious then it'll all be down there so don't don't worry your little heads about it 
if you if you want to know what it is it's down there um so that happened um and i also at work got put onto the covid response team for a few weeks which i mean if you don't know not that you will not that you should know but i've been working from home for the past year and i basically just got volunteered to go onto the covid response team um at work on site to start testing people i wasn't the one physically testing but it was like the setup of um and our like health and safety um team needed some help and of course like i'm gonna do whatever i need to do to help so i was put on that for two weeks directly after the passing of my manager so those like two to three weeks like the whole of february was rough it was rough and i was so busy being pulled from left to right to left to right in all directions i feel like i'm really low but um yeah just being pulled in every single direction that i don't think i had a moment to process anything and like that is hard i've found that mental health wise i know that like everyone is struggling so i'm not trying to be like ah, i'm really suffering but i've got to be honest there was a period where i was really suffering to the point where the simplest tiniest little things made me want to just burst into tears you know having a shower no apparent reason as soon as i relaxed i would burst into tears there's a lot of people that are like this at the moment it's like life just gets tough sometimes it's a roller coaster like i said and sometimes you have the highest of highs and sometimes you have the lowest of lows february for me was like the lowest of lows and it's really difficult and i might be kind of wrong here in what i'm saying but it's just how i feel also as a woman i feel that i need to keep myself together all of the time because if i for one moment have um like a moment of just not having my life together i don't want that to reflect poorly at work that's not to say that my work is you know my work is fully supportive love where i work um but maybe it's just in my head but i feel like as a woman there's an element of if i show weakness or repetitive signs of not being able to cope then opportunities might be closed i'm not saying that my work is like that that does not reflect on my job it's just on in my head i feel like it's a subconscious thing so i'm very keen to keep my shit together i don't know if anyone else feels like this but i feel like i can't show a moment of weakness um or struggling or i don't want to show that i can't handle things because i know i can i was just having a really rough time on top of just everything this is my last year of university i've been working for five years and this all has to like i just feel like oh my god what next what next and as soon as something good comes around i have this almost anxiety of this is almost too good to be true and something bad is going to happen because that's just how it goes i feel like anything good is going to be taken away from me and that's just like the mindset that i was in throughout the whole of february and like beginning of march the panic attacks that i was having was something that i've never experienced in my life as in full-on thought i was actually having a heart attack um knowing i wasn't but kind of scared because it felt like that anyway and it oh god making me all choked up thinking about it it just really wasn't nice um so yeah <laughs> how about i stop moaning about it um so yeah i'm coming towards the end of my degree i've got like assignments like my whole dissertation piece i call it dissertation but it's not a classic dissertation it's like broken up into different segments it's just my final end piece is due in may <laughs> the stress is absolutely unreal uh so i'm so keen to get a good grade obviously i just want to get a grade that i feel like i deserve i'm not necessarily like gonna be devastated if i don't get first i won't get first but i really just want to get the grade that i feel like i deserve i'm gonna finish up this foundation because i'm just wittering on anyone that is doing a degree at the moment will know the stress that comes with it and like the mental load the need for motivation that comes with it and of course 
I'm doing a full-time degree as well as doing a full-time job as well as trying to man not manage my relationship but you know keep up a relationship with my boyfriend obviously I don't want to just like be like see you later not talking to you for three months that's obviously not going to happen you know so I need to maintain a nice relationship with my boyfriend so he actually feels uh part of my life friends family it, it it's everything it's everything and it can get quite difficult sometimes I I mean we've literally I say we boyfriend Jake has just blitzed our bedroom and just really tidied it hoovered it we're like cracking through some laundry changing the bed sheets but I just have not had the space like the mental capacity to be able to do that and I can't even explain it it's so peculiar and also another thing that happened get this this is just like honestly if you don't laugh you cry that's that's the level I was reaching so last week I <laughs> this is so TMI and I'm sorry but I feel like if you've ever gone through this you'll be like oh it's not just me that feels like life <laughs> I had cystitis an onset like it's not quite a bladder infection but it's just like you know to my girls out there if you've had cystitis you know the sensation when you pee feels like someone is lighting you underneath it was quite painful and then I was like oh it's fine just drink load drink cranberry juice just you know get those cystitis sachets out we're gonna drink we're gonna do it best I've had it before it's fine I'll get over it okay so the week went by and I thought I was going to die so <laughs> I genuinely thought I had a kidney infection because the drinking was not cutting it so I, I felt like a little bit weird Thursday evening this is like when it was all happening so Thursday evening felt a bit weird Friday I was like god damn we're gonna start having to drink some gallons let's get that water going drink those gallons uh and then obviously Saturday I was really in pain almost like heavy period pains in my abdomen area like really painful um and I was like oh oh it's okay it's okay like I can man through I'm the sort of person that can deal with pain quite well I'd say like I never have to take ibuprofen or I, I dislike taking ibuprofen for like my periods even though sometimes I just want to cry but I feel like I'm okay with it like nine times out of ten I'm cool I'm chill I can man through it it's cool but my god the pain over the weekend was becoming so painful I was just I couldn't move like it was debilitating it was excruciating every time I stood up I was just like I didn't it's like almost to the point where if you've ever been in pain or anything like that in your life you you know that point where you start getting desperate it's it was that point where I genuinely didn't know what to do with myself and I think Sunday Sunday evening Sunday evening I can't remember I was like, you're going to have to take me to a and &E. I'm going to have to go to the hospital. I'm going to have to call 111. I don't know what to do anymore. I think I'm going to die. Like, it just, it felt horrific. So I took some ibuprofen for that area. But I'm just going to go into this sheer blush. I got this iconic London sheer blush in the shade Berry Boom. Let's see what this colour looks like. Oh, God damn, that's pretty dark. Oh, whoops so that's what berry boom looks like hopefully it's like properly sheer crap okay cool no it's all right we can run with this we can work with this it's cool it's cool <gasps> so i'm like taking the ibuprofen i am like really just wincing through the pain really just thinking to myself it's fine it's fine it's fine monday morning i will call my doctor's surgery and i'm going to get some antibiotics because it's past the point of just flushing it through um actually this isn't too bad it's just a little bit like if i have a tan this blush isn't so bad like when you shear it out it's okay like you can't i don't actually think you can see it on camera but in person it's like quite limited um so yeah so sunday night brave through it monday morning phone the doctors first thing and say like can i just have an over the phone appointment with the nurse something someone that can prescribe me with some antibiotics I get that phone call within probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour, which was amazing. Um, thank God for our NHS, like, thank God. Um, so yeah, get them and then 
they say like oh your prescription will be ready by midday because at that point it was kind of like you had to wait for an hour to process it i wanted to order it to the pharmacy in my local sainsbury's because it's easier than going all the way into town having to find a space blah, 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 blah. um so then i go get the antibiotics at this point i was just like give me those drugs <laughs> give them to me i was yeah i was i was some way and um yeah so took them and i started to feel a world better a world better took them for three days and now i'm just like thank god i feel so much better thank goodness because that was rough that was rough so of course that whole week was just an absolute write-off for anything. I don't know how I was actually managing, thank God I was working from home is what I wanna say first off. Thank God I was working from home because if I sat still, it was, the pain, the abdomen pain was fine. It was as soon as I like moved, it would like hurt for another hour or half an hour. So working at a desk, working at my computer, was okay to be fair. And I had a thing like my company has like flexi balances where if you work over like your contracted hours it'll get put like some f some hours get put in the bank so say for example if i worked um i don't know two hours more than my weekly sort of quota then those two hours would go into my flexi balance bank and i could use those two hours to leave early one day or um, i could use those two hours to have a dentist appointment in the middle of the day rather than having to book it after work it's just things like that and i really appreciate that about my job i yeah the bet that i love i love that because it makes life just easier in terms of more flexible like if i wanted a dentist appointment at one in the afternoon because that's all there was or i could have it at six and i'd be like oh god i can take my flexi balance and use it for that so really appreciate really appreciate the flexi balance so luckily i was able to just do minimal not minimal days but i was able to instead of doing like an eight hour day cut it down to a six hour day and it just made life a little bit easier for me obviously not feeling very well luckily i had enough time in my flexi balance bank to be able to do that we're going a bit ham with this blush but it's actually got a really nice finish side note it's like a little bit too a little bit too purpley toned from what I prefer this is like just what I can deal with with no tan with this pale ass body um so yeah so that was a bit of a rough week if I want to be honest I didn't get a lot done I got bare minimum bare minimum done for my job to be <laughs> sounds awful doesn't it bare minimum but like I got my job done I just didn't do much more you know i didn't do the thing the things that could wait i was like they're waiting i am not i'm not doing this and i didn't really want to take a sick day if i'm going to be really honest because i knew in my heart of hearts that i could have literally just sat there braved it like i was doing cracked on with a few things that needed doing and not have to not have to burden people with my workload and be like sorry i'm sick all week can you do my stuff as well like it's tough for everyone and i'm not going to do that i was physically able to work i just couldn't do it all day so that was a thing uh that blush the amount of blush i put on the back of my hand was like way too much so that's unfortunate i will learn and not use as much next time but it's actually got quite a nice finish it's quite smooth i need like a little mirror it's actually very smooth my cheeks look pretty cute and it doesn't look like i've got product on them let me get a bit closer i don't know if you can see that but like it doesn't look like i've got product on it just literally looks like a natural flush of color do you like this like resident spot it's resident zit hanging out my face little biash so the whole week was just basically a bit of a write-off for me anything outside what was absolutely necessary was a bit of write-off which means at this point i haven't done anything for my uni work in like six weeks mm, seven weeks six weeks seven weeks I'm not sure it's about six weeks and as soon as i was starting to feel better i was thinking wait my hand is in may um mm, haven't done enough work and the panic starts to set in at this point i mean the panic was setting in february to be honest with you when i realized that i was getting put onto this covid response team for a few weeks just like taken off of my actual project team um and the realization of oh i'm gonna be out like not out of the office but like i'm gonna be with another agenda for a while this means i'm gonna be taken away from uni work too um let me just tell you remote university learning 
is so difficult <laughs> so difficult and again anyone doing a degree will know it's just not it's not fun okay it's not fun the odd lesson like the odd thing is good about doing it remotely like say for instance i've only got a two-hour lecture normally i'd have to drive to the city which i mean you know i get up um by the time i get there it's really like an hour and a half since i got up so like we're talking about from waking up to getting there probably about an hour and a half like getting ready you know all these things it takes about half an hour to drive there so for things like a two hour lecture that starts at like nine o'clock i'm very grateful that it's remote because i can wake up at eight and get myself together get my notes together be ready have this two hour lecture see you later we're done but when you're doing like a full day of learning or you've only got say four to five hours worth of lectures and the rest of it like the rest of the day you're like group learning it's so difficult to do like group learning when you're not really sitting as a group i personally struggled with that i'm quite like um i'm gonna say kinesthetic learner but it's like I'm quite a practical person I have to see things I, I've got a really good like imagination in terms of like I can imagine things and view things like have a picture in my head but when I need help I need more than words um so when I needed help I don't know why I'm cream contouring my nose all of a sudden but it's happening why have I decided to do this we shall never know um yeah when I'm like getting help from my like uni supervisor and it's all like via email or via phone call I'm struggling like I need someone to get a piece of paper and be like this is what I mean Megan like drawing it out for me so that in itself just like even without stuff that's going on in life was just a struggle and I know that a couple of my peers were really struggling with that too so it was tough man it was tough okay so going back to the products i've also got the iconic london illuminating drops do you remember when these were just like literally everywhere i never purchased them because i was like oh no i don't really need them like it wasn't something i necessarily needed but i know that they were raved about by everyone these are the original drops i think they're gonna be a little bit too dark for me um but i received this in god it was a glossy box or something like i can't really remember it was like a beauty box or a beauty advent calendar i'm gonna use this as my highlight i'm just gonna drop a few drops on the back of my hand and then just like pat it out my fingers perhaps i'm thinking that's gonna be a good idea my skin looks beautiful beautiful that i'm living for so yeah university has been bloody hard and thank god for my uni slash work friends who are like going through the same degree um we've just been like a great support network for each other and i know that it's not just me having struggles like sounds awful but it's quite nice not it's quite nice knowing that you're not the only one struggling um not because i want other people to struggle obviously but it's nice to not feel like you're the only one um it doesn't help but it's like it, it's not a, it's less of a sinking feeling so hella stressed about my uni stuff and it is consuming consuming my life so if i'm not working i'm doing uni work and luckily my job my manager my whole like you know situation my whole work team are very understanding of my uni work and they're like oh it's so important make sure you don't like load yourself up with too much work um you know we're here to support you if you want less work if you need stuff taken off of you say and i'm like thank you because i greatly appreciate that um so they're really great they're really great support network and i really appreciate that but sometimes even though you know you've got the best support network it doesn't make you feel less stressed it doesn't make it doesn't make it go away um it yeah do you know what i thought these illuminating drops were gonna be way too dark for me but actually because the reflect is quite um bright if you shear them out just like the blush that was quite deep but once you shear it all out the finish is really really nice i like it with the finger i love liquid highlighters tapped in with my finger i just think it's a nicer finish it's less built up so yeah basically just like a lot is going on and i feel like even though i've like talked about all these things i feel like there's more going on than what i've said um oh that's another thing like i look in the mirror and think i'm absolutely disgusting i hate how i look that's <laughs> that's a struggle and i've had to seriously just like have inner monologue words with myself 
that says you know you've got you've got a lot going on girl and it's okay for you to look like a chunky little monkey okay it's okay um well it's not okay because i'm not happy with it but it's okay for now until until i have the time and the capacity to think about it i eat i'd say pretty healthy like i'd say pretty i probably eat a little bit too many carbs if i'm honest but i eat a lot of salad i eat a lot of veg i eat a lot, a lot of um fruit and veg my problem is is i'm very stagnant like i don't move enough at all and i'm fully aware of that i haven't like significantly been putting on weight but in the past year i have put on like a full like a full stone um and for the past four years transitioning from a job where i wasn't sitting at a desk all day to a desk job i've noticed the past four to five years i've put steadily like a <laughs> So they put like a half a stone every single year, which of course isn't bad when you think about it, because it sounds like that's like half a pound a month, which you'd be like, oh, it's nothing. But of course, if you're steadily putting that weight on, I'm now like three stone heavier than I, three stone, three stone heavier than I was five years ago, which isn't nice. It's not nice. It's not a nice feeling to look at pictures of yourself. Five. Oh, I didn't drink my tea. Oh, god damn. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's not nice looking at yourself from five years ago thinking, who was that skinny little minx? And it's hilarious because back then I thought I was fat and I was like, I need to lose weight. And what happened? I put three more stone on and now I look in the mirror and think, is that Mr. Blobby? <laughs> like, Hello? Is that you looking back at me? It's hideous. I hate it. I hate it. It also doesn't help that I haven't been tanned in like 18 months and having a tan make does like and i'm not talking like orangey tan i'm talking like just a little bit of warmth makes you feel less like um a sack of meat which is how i view my body at the moment and it i can only talk about it because i talk about it all the time in my inner monologue i'm gonna go into the iconic london palette by the way uh, this is the day to slay eyeshadow palette i've not used this on my eyes but i it comes with a mirror like this uh, it's a bit boxy it's, bit, it's, it's not too bad to be fair it's like you know like lime crime have their boxy ones i think they're even boxier than this this is a bit too boxy but it's not i'm not offended by it um and it just looks like this let me take the slip off hello come on it's like a pretty neutral palette um i think i might play around with like the plum tones perhaps i've swatched a couple of shades like i said but i haven't actually put it onto my face so this isn't a tutorial by any means so i'm just going to show you the shades i've put on and then like just carry on talking i'm going to go into ultimate tan this one right here because we were just talking about being tanned um yeah so it's just a like a bit of a bloody struggle to be honest and i've had to sort of say to myself do you know what once you hand in your degree in may uh like finish it once you hand it all in and once that's something off your chest once you've finished uh, so I'm currently on an apprenticeship for those that don't know it's a five year long one where I get a degree alongside it um, which is amazing but obviously the work involved is absolutely horrific <laughs> sometimes most of the time um, so once I finish the apprenticeship it's also like from year one to year five it like ramps up to a full time like a full term job um, and obviously the exiting of that it doesn't it's not just like okay bye then let's just step into a role like there's exit documents to do there's um a, like a lot of things like i have to do like a full presentation it's just like a lot of stuff like documenting and capturing my journey um securing a job role that's like a permanent one um it's just like a lot <laughs> all happening at once and i'm like <laughs> it's just a lot going on and it's kind of uh just i have to sit there and think of one thing at a time i am quite good at juggling like a lot of things i'm very good at that however when they're all big things there's only so much one single person can do at a time and i feel like my problem is is it's not that i can't do it because i know i can i've dealt with worse but my mental load at the moment is just really difficult these shadows require quite a bit of building up they're not like it might be just one shade that i've chosen but they require quite a bit of building but they're quite smooth so far i've only applied one shade uh, i'm going to go into merlot mondays this one right here 
there we go camera's focused now this one right here kind of putting it through the crease again i just want to kind of warm it up make it a little bit more mauvey so yeah it's been a bit of a struggle i am just like constantly i constantly have the university side looming now i just want to put this into perspective for youtube and i just want to say filming editing uploading a video to some people's disbelief does not take five minutes i could be sitting here now so for today's video what time is it now okay well i started thinking about filming this an hour and a half ago we're already probably into the 40 minutes of me filming like to the point where i actually turned the camera on um and so like that's you know by the end of it it's probably gonna be about two and a half hours and i've only just set all my lights up got all my makeup thought about what i'm gonna talk about today it's gonna take like two hours right okay so that's normal two hours i'd say for a full video unless it's like uh, my beauty box unboxing where i can do a little bit faster because it's just something i'm used to it's just so off the cuff uh and i'm used to that but normally videos take set up and set down and filming everything like that making sure i've got enough battery power blah blah blah, blah two hours cool editing not so much again some videos can take two to three hours i'd say like my beauty box unboxing like my glossy box and rocker box videos take about two to three hours to fill uh, to edit so all in all that one video will take maybe six six hours in total from filming editing the, the time taken about six hours um which is cool but today's video will take longer than that so the whole process could potentially come up to about eight to ten hours depending on if i have any problems um depending on how many times i trip over my words depending on uh, if my computer's playing ball and now when you start talking about those sorts of hours i have to think into my head uh, think into my head i have to start thinking megan is, is this a priority right now and as much as i love youtube i love it i absolutely love it i wish i had the time and capacity to upload on instagram once a week but guess what i don't I've like wanted to for the past two years and I'm like I'm going to post at least twice a month which is like literally next to nothing I can't even do that I like properly get excited when I can upload on Instagram a simple selfie and I'm like oh, look at me I've got my life together and I'm trying and I really want to be able to upload on YouTube once a week but I just actually at the moment I don't know how feasible that is um with my like ending of my degree getting closer and closer so I just kind of want to let you know that if for the next couple of well I suppose next month and a half so six weeks if my content is and has been slow weird kind of like okay repetitive in terms of wearing the same makeup look talking about things that aren't necessarily to date or being late for things you know why it's not me being lazy I truly love being on this platform it makes me happy I enjoy creating content like nothing else this is my favorite hobby ever um so it really saddens me when I can't when I can't execute it the way I want to I want to go into this shade here called closing party this one right here I think it looks really pretty I'm gonna use my finger okay it like makes me sad when I can't when I can't do what I want to do and I feel like I'm in this constant battle I feel like I'm a dog chasing my own tail um with social media in the sense of I know what I want to do and if I could just tell someone to do it for me it would be so good like I have this vision that I'm constantly having to update where I want to be able to do certain things I want to be able to do certain series but I just know in my heart of hearts that I cannot dedicate the time to it and it's so gutting when you can't dedicate the time to something that you truly love or you truly enjoy or you truly have a vision for it's just it's it's it makes you sad because it's almost like if you played for a boy okay I don't know I said a boy girls can play football too I was gonna say for football it's almost like knowing you have the Saturday match every single Saturday and training is on Tuesday but you can never make training so you're never quite progressing like the others do that can train on Tuesday so every Saturday you're not the best you want to be and you know you can be better so it's irritating 
that's kind of and then when it comes to like, the big matches you're never picked because you can never make the tuesday training to better yourself for the saturday so it's like this vicious circle or cycle circle cycle it's just this vicious thing <laughs> and that's like how i feel with social media and youtube at the moment it's just i have this vision of what i want and it is achievable but i just cannot dedicate the time to it and every time i can dedicate the time i'm like yes i'm on such a high and then something like february happens where my whole life just basically gets goes flips upside down and i don't know what's going on with my life anymore i feel miserable and i hate everyone and everything <laughs> i'm going to go into velvet crush the one below that so yeah i i don't know i don't know how are you guys doing i feel like everyone is just going through their own thing right now like i said i know from like my friends that everyone's dealing with different things they feel kind of a little bit miserable for different um reasons i like one of my work colleagues was saying to me how sad they felt because they couldn't go out and socialize and as awful as this sounds i was just thinking i didn't say anything but like in my head i thought if that's what i had to worry about if like that's what was saddening me i'd be so grateful and obviously to them that is like it's so valid and that's how they feel so i'm not gonna be like oh your feelings are invalid of course they're not that's that's how they feel but in my mind i was like i have such more like <laughs> if that was my issue it would be so far down the list in comparison to everything else in my life that i'd be like oh I'd be so grateful to just be missing friends and of course i miss my friends i miss my friends so much i'm just gonna go into deep soul this big brown at the top here it's matte i'm just so happy to see the warmer weather come in um i am such a sun baby i love the sun i love the sun i don't necessarily love the heat all the time like i hate humidity it makes me want to just like throw up but i love the sun the sun makes me happy and i mean i don't know i'm not the only, i feel like i'm not the only one there like the sun makes a lot of people happy and the idea of just being able to go outside um and not be in coats just being able to go for a nice walk feeling that summer breeze oh my god i can't wait like literally i cannot wait to me that is something that just the idea of that i'm gonna go back into merlot mondays um the idea of that is just oh, oh love it these are kind of like nice shadows i'll zoom up in a minute so you can see did you hear my hip click that's what it was i'm an old lady now didn't you know <laughs> i'm gonna go into the shade icon this one here it's like this pearl shade i thought it was gonna be a white flips pink which I'm not a fan of but it's not i think it's just a pearly shade um i well okay so if you've not been here very long you won't know but i have a best friend <laughs> i have a best friend <laughs> called lily she is my sister from another mister and she lives like an hour away now we used to live i'm not joking we could see each other's houses from our bedroom windows like we could yeah like we lived literally a 10 minute walk if that away from one another you know you could run and be there in a couple of minutes it was great well maybe not me because i don't run but <laughs> it was great and then of course we grow up and we don't live where we live and people move houses and she lives just under an hour away an hour's drive away um which actually obviously because of covid it doesn't matter if she was 10 minutes down the road anyway i wouldn't be able to see her but we facetime a lot and we snapchat a lot um yes still using snapchat because i'm still living in 2008 okay yes <laughs> we love it i love seeing people's faces when i talk to them it's so much more personal i feel like i can be so much more like Meh! I love it i love snapchat it also restricts how long i talk for which is probably a good thing we've been talking about going on holiday like you would not believe so we both turned 24 this year and me and my best friend have never been on holiday together i've never been on a girl's holiday i've never been on a girl's holiday i'll be honest like it doesn't <laughs> a girl's holiday in my mind i probably wouldn't enjoy unless it was with the right people that's probably the inner gemini in me of just being like yeah happy to be with people but not with you like <laughs> i can only deal with certain groups of people like the three university work girls that i work with i could happily go on holiday with them like they we are just so comfortable for me a relationship where i can look like a piece of crud um and feel comfortable is a good relationship it's a good relationship when there's a silence 
and no one feels awkward that's a good relationship I love that um so yeah me and Lily have never been on a girls holiday together I think she's been on she's been on one or two can't remember with like some work friends and stuff before but we've never been on holiday together we've been like saying that we'd would for literally probably 10 years we've been going oh yeah we're going on holiday together we never have um so luckily our boyfriends are like quite into the same things we've gone to like places I keep saying like 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 I'm stuck as a 12 year old um our boyfriends are kind of into the same things I feel like I need to put something else on this lid I might go into VIP vibes this one here it's like a brighter metallic than closing party just pop it on the center perhaps also for my final product my final trick <laughs> uh for the iconic london triple threat mascara never used this before obviously Ooh, hello that's kind of pretty it's kind of nice packaging very nice this is this is obviously in the shade black because i don't really like anything other than black mascara usually i don't mind a brown but i prefer black oh let's squeeze my lashes because they're very flat so we've been talking about going on holiday for literally a decade <laughs> and our boyfriends get along um they enjoy the same things which is obviously really, really nice i think we both well i do i certainly i like lily's boyfriend i hope that she likes mine um i think she does <laughs> uh so we all get along really well and we really 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 want to go i say we that it could be me just having this fantasy and she's like megan I couldn't give two shits <laughs> like, um i really really want to go i think we want to go to disneyland paris together to be like a little couple's holiday get a like a get like a hotel in disney obviously we've not been on holiday for like the past couple of years uh, well me and jake haven't um so like yeah go on holiday go to disney world just have like a long weekend and just enjoy our lives in disneyland paris that would be amazing i love disney i love theme parks we all love theme parks um so that'll be really really fun and it's like kind of funny because the last time we all went out together was thor park so it'd be like an upgrade um really excited for the prospect of that and we've said that obviously if we can we'd have liked to have done it this year but i'm not i'm not holding out hope i'm not i don't want to like get my hopes up it would be amazing if we could do it perhaps like this christmas time we've not booked anything for obvious reasons um we've like both lily and i have very much got the same mindset about a lot of things in life which is really nice it's probably one of the main reasons we get along so well and um, this mascara is like I'm not sure about this mascara the bristles aren't very long so for me trying to into individual lashes was a little bit difficult i prefer it just to be a little bit more bristlier and let me really get in between each lash i had this moment of madness yesterday where i was like i'm gonna get my lips plumped i'm gonna get a little bit of touch 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 and i'm gonna look great and then now i was like well that's kind of expensive so let's just stick to overlining for the rest of my life like if my lips made me that unhappy i would get it done don't get me wrong but they don't make me that unhappy i'm just like oh yeah that'd be cool i wouldn't have to overline every morning you know probably the same reason why people with little brow hairs get their brows tattooed because then they won't have to wake up every morning and be like oh god we're gonna ignore mrs resident pimple on my face i'm gonna put the blush i guess it's kind of mouth safe mouth safe is that even a thing Ooh, okay <laughs> yeah, i'm not mad at that that's kind of cute I kind of like that. I'm just going to quickly put some brow gel through my brows. I just realised they're looking pretty rat a tat tat I think that's it. Like, I think I've done my moaning. I just want you guys, bottom line, to know that life... Like, I've not been lazy, okay? I've not been uploading or uploading, like, the same similar things or uploading things late because I'm lazy or I can't be bothered or because I'm falling out of love with YouTube. Absolutely not. Like, couldn't be further from the truth. I am just one busy little bee at the moment and sometimes you just have to like take things have to take precedent and at the moment my degree is the main focal point like above everything else and when I compare the amount of time it's going to take to film like edit set up tidy up do all my description bars everything like that I've got to weigh up whether 10 hours worth of YouTube outweighs 10 hours worth of time i could be spending on my dissertation piece and unfortunately like that's just a no-brainer it's just a no actually do you know what? i might keep my hair up like this kind of rocking the whole 
mullet. <laughs> I've just got to prioritise things and unfortunately that does mean that some things do fall by the wayside but I'm hoping once my degree is like over um, I'm thinking next year it's gonna be great she says for the past five years but I'm thinking after May like I will have more free time to once again throw myself back into YouTube like I was at the beginning of like January I feel like I was so on it like a car bonnet I was really happy with myself um I know I have promised a room tour if I room toured you at the moment it would be I need Trini and then Susanna around is it Trini and Susanna like the cleaning ladies I mean the room's not dirty it just looks like a genuine bomb has hit it I've got one more video to go up though which is like packing away my clothes that's one that's got to go up before giving you the full room tour I intend to tidy it and it be up I don't know I've got to film it first but I'm intending for it to be up sooner rather than later I don't want to keep you guys waiting for that one I've also ordered a few new bits I know I'm on a low buy no buy but if you knew um, if you watch those, go watch them if you don't. But I purchased a few things and they've finally arrived. They finally arrived. So um, I'm gonna do videos on them soon. I just want you guys to know that I'm not abandoning my YouTube channel for a month or anything like that. There will still be content, probably just a bit slower than usual. So please do bear with me on that one. Also on that actually, I probably will be doing quite like bulk filming. So today I've filmed this video and now I'm probably gonna go film another two videos. So you're probably gonna see this look in another two videos so again sorry about that if that's a little bit boring but it's just the way I'm gonna have to do things for another six weeks because I don't have the time to dedicate more than a day to a week to YouTube um, I probably don't even have that I have about half a day's worth of time to de dedicate to YouTube a week um, which is a bit rubbish because normally I would have dedicated a few days and now I can't so love that for me also i didn't even point out that i've like completely changed out my layout i'm awaiting i actually think i'd like it like this though but anyway i'm awaiting another one of these cubes the bigger cubes so that i can stack it a bit better because at the moment my desk is just a bit junky and i'm trying to reorganize but because obviously britain left the eu exporting things like or importing both uh from europe is really difficult at the moment and the drawers that i'm looking for um aren't in the uk yet so that's probably gonna be a while so i tried to make it look as nice as possible i've got a little, little succulent plant penny whatever it's called money tree going on there which is kind of cute my plants are living for life at the moment i don't know what i've done but they're sort of thriving on my sadness i think um and i'm not even watering them with my tears so i don't know what they're doing but they're loving my sorrow <laughs> because they are thriving um so yeah, i don't know i kind of like it like this at the moment i think it's kind of cute uh, if you don't like it then it'll be changing soon anyway but if you do like it great thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go film another two videos now now that i'm looking half semi-decent first time i've been wearing makeup in a while so i'm gonna go film another two videos look out for this look thumbs this video up if you have enjoyed tell me if you've ever tried iconic london um, makeup Again, I've only played with like little four little things today, but I'm quite happy about this brand. It's like, seems like a pretty good brand to me. So that's, that's something, that's a positive. So tell me down below if you've ever played around with their products. Also talk to me if you just want to talk to me because I love interacting with you guys. It's literally my favorite part. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos that I upload. I'm aiming to upload every single week still. So ring that bell and it'll notify you when I do upload. Thank you guys so much for your ongoing support. I love you guys so, so, so much. I wish you well. I hope you're doing safe. Doing safe? Doing well. Being safe. Doing all those wonderful things. Thank you guys. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.